Welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel. The channel provides video resources for your Jeep builds, your classic car builds, and your everyday car maintenance. Today we're going to tackle that number three cylinder where the where the problem is. We're going to disassemble it, see how bad the damage is. Why don't you join me on the adventure as we dig in. So this is the piston as it came out. That's not a good sign. As you can kind of see, the whole sidewall is missing in there and so forth. Yeah, I don't think we were reusing this one. Connecting rod seems to be okay. It don't look real good. So we just got to see what, how bad that damage is. All right, folks, so we're measuring the cylinder bore and we've got these nice telescoping uh, bore gauges fairly inexpensive at the import tool store so I picked a pair up so anyway you uh, loosen them up you pick the right size for where you need to go you loosen it up and then you kind of put it down in your cylinder and you get it kind of squared up which is really kind of just a feel thing and then you tighten it down and then you kind of pull it out and then I take my calipers and I'm going to measure what it is about 40 over and this is not super accurate like I don't know if I have it exactly square in there it's pretty close so it just kind of gives you an idea of how much your cylinder bore is over and if you have a really oblong uh, cylinder so I want to take it on the other axis now and see where we're at and we are about the same place so we got the number one up which is good i'm gonna take five thousandths see if it kind of fits down in there it does a little loose there but it fits there we're going to do the same for four it may not show up on the camera five kind of fits all the way around and then we're going to take something like I don't know eight see if that fits all the way around that's really tight there that's pretty so it just barely fits in there we're doing the same on four it's up as well eight doesn't fit all the way around on that one it's close but front to back it doesn't quite fit and then we're going to take maybe i don't know 12 or 15 maybe See if that fits anywhere. Fifteen it does not fit. So that's a good sign. It doesn't fit on four either. So we're going to take a twelve. See where we're at. See if that fits anywhere. It does not there. Nope. 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 Not really. It doesn't really fit anywhere. So we're going to go down to 10. Try it out. That's, if I wedge it in there, it might fit. But that's pretty square all the way around. Now 10 does kind of fit on four uh, on the one side, but it doesn't fit anywhere else. 
so it's almost like that one side's a little worn which we're going to place the cylinders or the pistons anyway so yeah so that's that all right so as promised that's what it looks like inside so there's definitely some marks in there not sure how bad they are though I'm not sure how much play I got either so there there it is folks we got to figure out what we're gonna do damage doesn't look awful we're gonna evaluate the situation maybe we can find an engine or rebuild it or just whatever so we're gonna work on it and see how it goes I appreciate y'all watching y'all take care it's time for supper